Police's St. Patrick's Day Parade. Mammoth federal agency continues unchallenged invasion of non-transportation-related events. Yeah, first it was the buses and the trains. And uh, now it is the highways, the schools, the proms. John Harmon, you know, you remember 12 years ago then when I saw the TSA being formed on C-SPAN, I said they're going to be on the highways, they're going to be at uh, checkpoints, they're going to be everywhere as a national police force because I saw them say that. And, and, of course, now, John Harmon, is it happening? Absolutely. I mean, it's it's one of those things that uh, it wasn't something that you predicted and uh, you looked into your crystal ball. You could see it happening. That's just the way the future is going with all the technology and everything. Um, checkpoints on when you go to the mall, you're going to get searched everywhere. Um, Alex is absolutely right. That's the way things are heading. Well, they said they were going to do that. And here it is. It's happening. It's getting rolled out slowly. It's It's the whole... Um, they, they, if they just announced it, hey, folks, we're going to start doing this now, people, of course, would go up in arms and say, absolutely not. This is ridiculous. It's the, uh, you know, slowly turning up the pressure cooker and eventually people just accept it. It's just another thing. Um, it's, it's boiling the, the frog in the hot water analogy. Why are you being racist right, right now? You know, because I'm, I, I am white and I am sorry. I love Obama. I apologize. <laughs> That's better. I mean, if you have, listen, you. if you have an opinion on the flavor of ice cream you want, it's racist. Absolutely. If you don't I'm like turning your guns I'm in, you're way. racist. If you don't pay for the Obamacare ripoff, you're a racist. You do what you're told and nobody's going to call you a racist. Don't give, up, don't give up on me. I am learning. Yeah, I mean, used to they had people, governments had to smack you around to make you do what they said. Now they just threaten you with not being trendy. That, yep, that's the way things are going. Um, they uh, politically can assassinate your character so that when you have an opinion, people can say, oh, it's that guy saying that. Um, and well, exactly, but I mean, more than that, it, it, it's even more of a hoax because the system has almost no power and it's discredited, and so many people hate the system that for them to attack you, you actually become popular. Oh, they know that, and, and, and that's, that's they're getting desperate. Exactly, but the trendies still think that if the system's attacking you, it means you're discredited. That's because they're on the winning team. They're, you know, if if even though they're they're going down, they look bad. They have to keep rooting for that winning team because it their whole life is being they bought into this. Whole their thing whole life. life is about being so, in the facade. It's just like what uh, Stefan Molyneux was saying the other day. People that live on the surface. It's all about that whole thing. I mean, we all, you know, those those yuppies that you talk about. They're all living on the surface. They're not living in the barbarian beauty area. Exactly. They're not really living. It's all about their BMW and their bank account. They have to protect that. John, Anything they're not that. seething with the animating contest of liberty. Their minds are not on fire. Absolutely. They just don't have that right mindset. Something eventually will come along and kind of, uh, you know, a cop pulling them over and, you know, uh, kind of abusing their rights. Something like that. Well, I told everybody because Toyota said it like 15 years ago and then they announced it. They're going to have cameras in all the cars that watch you to make sure you're not upset that then live time back to the police. <coughs> See, it, you know, if they said they're secretly watching you. Everyone would get upset, but now it's not secretly watching you. It's, oh, in case there's road rage, and, it, and in the article I'm going to get to later, it shows the face of the guy with road rage, and all he's doing is kind of frowning. I frown when I'm having my most delicious moments, uh, listening to music uh, or thinking about something uh, or thinking about victories against tyranny I've had. I mean, I, I literally, my brain just goes, good, 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 more endorphins for you. You're a big red-blooded barbarian who loves freedom. Oh, you love humanity. My brain says good. You, you, you love beauty. You love people being successful. You love being honorable. Here, more endorphins, more power, more energy. God loves you. Oh, you're dreaming of giant you know, space-based civilizations and humanity and empowering people. You're dreaming of empowering your children. You're dreaming of green fields, of Elysium. Oh, my gosh, you're so good. Meanwhile, all these evil people are totally unhappy because they don't know what it's all about. Just go back to being a man. Go back to being a woman. Women, you're not feeling good about yourself? Be super feminine. Put on a polka dot dress. Go cook some food in the kitchen. You know, have men, you know, talking to you. Think you're beautiful again. I know television told you you're not beautiful. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out of control today. This is what happens when I get three hours sleep. <laughs> I was doing some deep research last night. Now, oh, don't you love John Wayne? We got him on screen.
That's like uh, that's like holy water to the loveless, trend, trendy nanny state vampires. Is he John Wayne and burst into flame? The ultimate survival bug out lightweight fishing pole is Emrod. Made by a family owned American company and assembled in Idaho, Emrod fishing gear comes with a lifetime warranty and 90 day money back guarantee. Emrod weighs just 8 ounces and breaks down to 14 inches. Emrod's indestructible stainless steel compact design makes it perfect to take anywhere. Cast your eyes now at Emrod.com. That's E M M R O D.com. Emrod. Fish to survive, survive to fish. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carding to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy viruses products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. It's been said, those who control the food control the people. Are you concerned about GMO foods making you sick and affecting your mind? Many people suffer from lack of energy, insomnia, loss of stamina, weight gain, and the inability to think clearly. Genetically modified crops, processed foods, and toxic chemicals can compromise your health and are silently destroying your digestive system, which accounts for 80% of your immune system. Take back control of your health with Pro-EM1 Probiotic from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 Probiotic helps protect your body against irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, diabetes, the common cold, and much more. And including a powerful probiotic like Pro-EM1 as part of your daily routine puts you back in control and prevents you from becoming a mindless zombie manipulated by the pharmaceutical and GMO agendas. Call Terraganics at 866-369-3678 or visit Terraganics.com. T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Way up I've got so much news, and I am not a lazy creature. It's more of torture some days. Most days I want to cover news. Some days I get in here and look at it all, and it's just like, this is off, this is off the charts. But I've got to get to the UN news. I've got to get to just all this other incredible news. Uh, but uh, right now, let's go to the Hubo. Am I pronouncing that right? And then we're going to go to uh, Robert, God and Country, Alyssa, and Bob.
and uh, we've got some folks that disagree. So let's go to let, let's go to Habu first because he disagrees from w Wisconsin. Okay, you're first up. What do you disagree with me about with the Ukraine situation, sir? I, I dare not disagree with you, although it's a minor point. Let me just say you've been spot on in your analysis, uh, and, and you've said it in such a stentorian way. I respect you. Uh, I disagree with um, the, the notion that this may, uh, well, well that, that, you know, thermonuclear war is, uh, well, while it is possible, I don't think uh, the West will, 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 will go that way, of course, unless it's forced into it. And, of course, Russia has been very measured and, 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 and sober about this. Uh, I'll tell you why the West won't do it, because it has got too much to lose. It's got this rigged game. Uh, and they don't want to lose it. I mean, just think of Exxon and all these big companies. They, they, they won't be able to do business. So they've got just too much to lose to go that direction. Let me just tell you what I think this whole thing is about. This thing is to cut off, uh, um, to, to, to create this scenario, to cut off uh, gas coming into Europe. As somebody said yesterday, they would blow up a pipeline. And, you know, uh, it is to make Americans think, oh, we're in another Cold War again. Let's give in to fracking. You know, so then we don't need we don't need the gas here. We have enough gas, but it's to then send it down to Europe, and so to make people agree to give up their rights on fracking. Well, I think that it is energy fits into it, and then getting uh, Europe off of Russian gas that is actually part of it. And I think uh, di different forms of uh, newer forms of exploration for natural resources is in that equation that you're absolutely right that's why they want a new proxy war with russia is because it lines up with so many interests the eu wants to control germany wants control the british always want to bring down russia the israelis want to go after iran they got to get rid of syria russia's protecting syria but again israel loses the moral high ground supporting along with our government al-qaeda forces blowing up all the churches and stuff i mean you don't get rid of assad and put al-qaeda in who's literally I keep saying 10 times worse. They, they got to be 100 times worse. Get some of the oldest Jewish and Christian communities in the world in Syria that live in total peace and are now being blown up. They blew up something like 200 churches in the month of December last year. You, you know, Alex, um, I, uh, not, not that I'm, I'm an apologist for Russia, but uh, I believe that Russia is the repository of Christianity. Uh, uh, and it's the old right, but it is the repository of Christianity more so than anywhere in the world. It is the ancient Orthodox Christianity, and it is true that it is taking over Russia right now. They're having a revival over there, and the establishment does not like it. You know what you're talking about, Abu. It's so good to talk to informed callers. i got to go to somebody else. Thank you so much, sir. Robert in Illinois, you're on the air. Thanks for holding. Go ahead. Yes, Alex. Thank you very much. Um, I'd just like to point out that uh, if if we are being eavesdropped upon via our cell phones, audio, and video, who's to say that the NSA doesn't already know or or knows what's going on on that missing plane? If all their phones are still active, maybe they've already painted a picture of what's going on, and then uh, governments are involved, and they can't let the rat know that it's being chased back to its den. So that's why there's no new updates. And same old, same old on the... Uh, yeah, no, they could know who really got it, and it's behind-the-scenes diplomatic stuff with the North Koreans and the Chinese. Uh, or uh, it could have been an NSA, CIA-style deal where in Operation Northwoods, they said they would land the plane and claim it crashed or claim it disappeared and then have the people on board be uh, government folks uh, or corporate, uh, you know, sheep-dipped, covert, uh, deep-cover operatives who then all stage their death and, and then get new names which is a routine operation. Um, I mean, I know people uh, and have had, uh, I'm, I'm just going to leave it at that. The, let's just say this, a lot of people go into the military and then they stage their death and then they get a new identity. Uh, so that type of stuff does go on. I mean, myself, I'm Bill Hicks. I mean, I, I'm not joking, folks. It's a sarcastic joke on the internet. Uh, but uh, not funny to the family, I apologize. Uh, but uh, getting serious, uh, any other points? It dropped on we're going to uh, come right back. No, no but seriously, uh, there is a program, a large program, called Sheep Dipping. And that's how they create secret armies. I mean, brigade level of basically ghost soldiers uh, that don't even exist on paper. And the Russians are big into that, too.
And our country is just full of Russian operatives. We're on the